Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Waldron Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. And our theme this holiday season is Peace Has Come. You know, I've been uh, serving at this church for almost 10 years. I went back through all the different Christmas sermons that we've given, and I realized that none of our themes had anything to do with peace before. We'd always gravitated towards, you know, other words and phrases, and I thought, you know what? At the end of 2020, I think we all need some peace, right? And so one of the things that I do here is I write a little Christmas devotional for our church every single uh, December. And it's good for a reading for the first all the way through the 25th, but I realized that not everybody was able to grab one. And I said, you know what? It's gonna be just as simple to record a couple of minutes, sit in front of the Christmas tree, uh, turn to the appropriate reading page. This is December 9th reading. And it's entitled, Give the Gift of Living. And our passage is Mark chapter 10, verse 45. It says, For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. That first Christmas, when the shepherds gathered around the manger, or when the wise men brought their gifts, nobody fully understood the reason that Jesus was sent. In fact, only a few times in his teaching does Jesus even ever hint at his earthly mission. Here in the book of Mark, Jesus says exactly why God came to earth. Jesus came to serve. In fact, Jesus says that he would give until it cost him his very life. Jesus redefines service. Jesus redefines servanthood. But then he also tells us to do what we see him do. He says in Matthew 16, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. As Christians, we are taught to do the very thing our Christmas King has done. Serve the world, even to the point of giving our lives away. The very best gift you can give this year is the gift of living for others. It's always fun to wonder what you'll get for Christmas, but let us not forget to consider what we are giving. Ask how you can be of service this Christmas season. What can you do to give your life for others? Thanks for being with us today. Be sure to come back tomorrow for our December 10th reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go. I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.